and welcome back to part two of the, uh, we'll call it the Gaming Raspberry Pi. Um, so, episode one, we put the hardware together for our Raspberry Pi installation. Episode two, we're going to install Ubuntu Server for our Raspberry Pi. Um, this is going to be pretty simple. All right, what we have here, we have uh, Raspberry Pi OS Imager. We're gonna download it for Windows. And install. Yes, we wanna install it. Install. Do, do, do. This is very not complex at all. All right, so we've installed Raspberry Pi Imager. The operations here are very simple. We're going to choose OS, and we are going to choose other general purpose OS, and Ubuntu. From here, we have a choice to make. If we're using a Raspberry Pi 3, we can use the 64-bit or the 32. Um, apparently there's really no difference in the performance between the two because the Raspberry Pi 3 can only access a gigabyte of RAM. However, for the Raspberry Pi 4, you're gonna to wanna to choose a 64-bit version because we can use two, four, eight gigabytes of RAM on the Raspberry Pi 4. I'm gonna choose Ubuntu Server 2.041 or two, two, bleh. I'm gonna choose Ubuntu Server 21.04 and the 64-bit. There we go. Now, now our Raspberry Pi kit came with an SD card already loaded with probably Raspbian and a little USB dongle that we can insert the card into. I'm sure you have uh, an SD card adapter already. Um, we're just going to try everything that came with that kit though. So we take the SD card, put it in the adapter, and then we put the adapter in our computer. All right. Now, we see that the drive is recognized, so we're good to go. We choose choose storage, mass storage device. There we go. And we choose right. All existing data will be erased. Yes, continue. This is a simple process, but it does take a little bit of time. All right, we can see here that um, Ubuntu server blah, blah, blah has been written to the storage device. Um, it went through a process where it installed the software onto the, onto the storage card and then verified it. So you're gonna have to wait a little bit. Okay, so we're done with the Raspberry Pi installer. We're going to need to make a couple changes to the software that we've just installed on the, um, the SD card for the Raspberry Pi. Um, I'm going to use VS Code for this. Uh, you can use any text editor you like um, as long as it doesn't do crazy things like rename, um, rename your extension, your file extension. Uh, if you're completely new to this, VS Code is probably going to be the easiest because you'll be able to follow along exactly. Uh, Atom is another good choice. So from VS Code, we're going to choose File, and we're going to open the folder, and we will scroll down to our drives. We have um, the local drive. I have my internal hard drive. We have one called System Boot and the USB drive. Uh, System Boot is the boot partition for the software, the USB drive, whatever letter it has f in my case is the leftover space right on that sd card we want to choose system boot and we're just going to say select folder vs code is going to open up all of these options to us right so we're going to look in system boot which is right here we have a couple subfolders system volume and overlays we don't care about those we are looking for network config 
Let's go with exactly as it says, Wi Fi's. Then we're going to say WLAN zero colon. And we have to make sure that we're indenting things, right? Indenting is important. So here's where we get into the static IP. We can see here after the uh, network element, either Ethernet or WLAN, we have to replace that DHCP4 equals true with this information, right? And this information isn't going to match what we have in reality. For example, on my home network, my IP addresses are not 192.168.101. They are 192.168.86. And I want this Raspberry Pi to run on 201. My gateway is not 192.168.1.1, it is 192.168.86.1. And our name servers, we want that to access oh, Google directly. So we'll go 8.8.8.8. .8 okay. Then we get into this information. Right, so we're going to do access points. If I could spell, and indent again. All right, and this is where you would put in your SS SSID. Okay, and that's going to be whatever your wireless is called. If it's you know, my wireless, whatever, exactly as it is, uppercase, lowercase, however it is. Then you're going to indent and write password. And in quotes, you're going to have to type in your password. So if it's ABC123, ABC123, right? If it's capital A, B, C, one, two, three, then it has to be capital A, B, C, one, two, three. Once we get this information put in, you're going to go up to file and just click save. We can go on to installing the SSD into the Raspberry Pi. And that is just as simple as slotting in the card right okay we've done that we're ready to power up excellent so we have successfully installed the raspberry pi in its case we have downloaded ubuntu server and configured the network We've got our Raspberry Pi powered on with the SSD card or with the SD card in the Pi. In the next video, we are going to begin the setup process, install the software that is required to run Foundry, uh, the Discord Python bot, and the Dice server. All right, guys, we will see you in the next one.